Good morning guys and welcome back to the farmhouse. We are gonna do some garden work today. Have some sunflowers that need to be taken out. We're gonna pull the tomatoes out and plant some lettuce because it is supposed to rain tomorrow. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into on the home. Hey guys, sorry, interrupted. Kids, what can I say? So homesteading is always an adventure and we are always getting into trouble. So let's see what kind of trouble we can get into today. the sunflowers that we're going to work on right now they have hit their peak and they need to come down what we're going to do is we're going to chop the heads off let them dry i have a project kind of in the works for them for next year got to still work out some of the details but super excited about it but we're going to save the heads you can see how big they are and then we're going to chop up the rest of this into semi small pieces and put it in our compost pile In the spring, each kid planted a lima bean at school. And this is the plant. It started off really, really slow. And then it kind of took over the sunflowers. I didn't really think anything was gonna come of it, but we have some great lima beans. We, some of the pods have dried and we have these. And then here's one Henley found here. That's in a green pod and they actually taste really good. So I'm gonna teach Henley how to harvest these and we're gonna have some lima beans for Property. planting and some lima beans for eating. Mm -hmm. We only ended up finding like two or three that were good, but we did find a lot of dry ones. So we're gonna save these dry ones. We are going to leave the rest of these on here and harvest them in a couple of days. What I am gonna do is figure out a trellis system to maybe go between these two um, T posts that are here um, so that we can get these off the ground because I did pull all of the sunflowers out. Here are the lima beans. Here's my makeshift trellis system for them. We'll see what happens. I really just wanna get a couple more off of them. We have enough for seed, but a few more to eat would be nice. Oh, that carrot flowered. It did? Yeah. Oh, it did. Holy crap. All right, well, let Daddy start on this side. Let Daddy pull a couple and then. Let's pull that one up. That's massive. So massive flowering, but not massive. Oh. So, so flowering doesn't always mean. Yeah. Daddy, right. see what my dad I, I know, up? but don't get in front of the camera. Remember, we had this discussion this morning. 
So we have. Do you know what you need to go do? One didn't flower. But, but huge. Yeah. You need to go get one of the harvest buckets. Yeah. Do you remember where they are? On the porch? Go get a harvest bucket, please. Yeah, that one didn't make it. Two. Two onions. Yeah, two onions. Do you even like onions, Hunt? Mm -hmm. I see, I see, I see, I see three. You see three? Oh, you, yeah, you probably do. But that one might be dead. Mm, yeah, it looks a little. It, that one's a little rough. Yeah. That's not bad. Oh, some tiny ones, but that's probably because they were overcrowded. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to harvest all of these hot peppers. We will see how many we get. Not too shabby. We're gonna have to figure out something to make with these though. Maybe some hot sauces or, I don't know, we'll see. What is your favorite recipe for habaneros? Leave it in the comments below. I'd love to check it out. I lost all of my help, but I have to get these peppers harvested. So, guess I'm doing it by myself. I'm gonna stop there with peppers. That orange one looks really good. This one, hmm. excited about this one, but we will have to see, we'll have to let him come do the rest of them and see what he gets. Next project is to rip out all of these tomato plants behind me and we are gonna plant some lettuce and some spinach. We did not have much luck with tomatoes this year. Kind of sad, but we're trying to make the best of it by planting another crop in here that hopefully will give us some harvest. We were able to plant, I think, four different types of lettuces in this area, and we decided we are going to take down the trellis system and put in some hoops so that we can grow lettuce all winter. 
Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse today. It is always a pleasure to hang out with you guys. Please make sure that you hit subscribe and that notification bell so you can be notified the next time we upload a new video about our homesteading adventures. You guys know we are always getting into trouble and we are always having fun. We'll talk to you guys soon.